Cordy Cox here at the TD Garden as the Celtics fall to the Lakers 129 to 128. Now it was a star studded event here at the Garden with the Patriots. Yes, the Super Bowl champs were in the house as were guys like Kevin Garnett and Mookie Betts. It came down to the wire and it was Celtics fans. This one's going to hurt Jean Rondo, who scored the buzzer beater, the first of his NBA career. Maybe like in middle school, but <laughs> pro level. <laughs> I got shit. Yeah. It comes, it comes at this arena it definitely feels surreal. I, I haven't watched it, the replay yet, but uh, this is this is one I'll be playing for the rest of my life. And like I said, the early, you know, the man upstairs has a lot of credit. I give him all the credit, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know, man, I think for Rondo, I think it was, uh, he couldn't even dream about that moment to be back here in the garden and uh, where he won a championship. Where obviously, you know, he has so many memories of being here, um, and for him to get his hands on the ball at that moment and uh, be able to. Knocked that down. It was a, it was a storybook ending. Sorondo had 17 points on the evening while LeBron James led the way. 28 points, 12 assists, 12 rebounds. Yes, a triple double. The Celtics now take on the Clippers on Saturday at 8 p.m. right here at the Garden. Keep it locked in. Nesson.com will have all your coverage.